how good and delicious <laughs> Indian, Indian food is. Mm -hmm. Namaste everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from Miami, Florida, my hometown with my father. Today we're gonna be eating Indian food, chilling, relaxing, having some wine, and I'm very excited because it's been a while, Dad. I know you've been traveling all over the place. You, oh, are, you are the Indian food guru now. And now now I are, think I am. You are, you are, <laughs> namaskar, namaste. <laughs> yeah, exactly, so I've been traveling around the United States for the past few months, you know, basically figuring out where all the curry spots are, all the Indian cuisine, right? So I've been doing like eating Indian food for 24 hours. I've also been collaborating with different people, eating Indian food. I just got back, literally I landed this morning from San Francisco. I was just on an eight day trip, just eating nonstop curries. But you know what? This is the holidays. So today we are gonna drink some wine. So we're gonna celebrate with Indian food. Exactly, we're gonna celebrate with Indian food. Um, basically, you know, at my home, we always get the gift of wine for my father. Father. That is what I always give to him. And today we partnered with Bright Cellars. Dad, bring it over. Dun, da, 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 da. So this is Bright Cellars. This is the box. So this company, basically, what they do is they have a quiz on their website. You go through the quiz and it matches like what your flavor tastes are to different wines from around the world. So Bright Cellars focuses on finding unique hidden gems from small vineyards from all over the world. All you have to do is take their quick and simple seven question quiz so they can gather your taste preferences and deliver wines you're guaranteed to love. It's super convenient, they deliver it to your home. It's a little different because most people, what they do is they match the wine to the food and here, David, what they do is they find out your taste okay. and then they deliver the wines to you that they believe are correct for your taste and your palate. So the discovery, it's really geared to your taste. Yeah, and it's directly to your door. So let's open this up. So we have six bottles here. Oh, and they're also very educational, right? So right when you open it, right here. Yeah, so they basically educate you. So each box comes with wine education cards for each bottle that outline the tasting notes, suggesting pairings, best serving temperature, and the origin. So basically impress your friends and family with some wine knowledge. Correct. So let's open this up. So what do we have here? They even teach you how to uncork the wine yeah. in the right temperature, which is good. You know, a lot of people drink like hot wine mm -hmm. and it's really bad. I mean, I, I don't know, know I why. Know. You have to cool, chill the wine always, always. I think we're gonna bring this down. So let's pull some out. One, two, three. Oops. <laughs> okay, so here we have three different wines. Dancing Juice, so that's from California, I guess, right? Valle Central. Okay, this is Cripisis, right? And then over here, we have Cactus Park. So each one of these has a card, right? So this is Cactus Park, right. Dancing, Dancing Juice, Juice and Cripsis. And Cripsis. So Cripsis is a Petit Shiraz, Caramener. That's a, so that's a different grape that is right. in, uh, where is it? In Chile. Okay, it's so it's Chile. Chile. And then this one is from California, and this is also from California, Cactus Park. It's a red blend. So basically, they educate you, right? So this one has plum, black cherry, amazing. So I mean, just, you know, different wines, for your palate, because you went through the quiz, you made it happen, right? You see, and it tell you about the temperature. Very important. Mm -hmm. People don't chill their wines. Exactly. You know, it's like a hot soup. You don't want to drink a wine that's hot. So we chose our wine already. We already put it into the cooler, and that's the Mojave Rain, right? So it's a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's full body. Full body, new vintage from California. Blackberry, raspberry, strawberry, red currant, and vanilla. 15%. Those are the flavor notes. Exactly. The flavor notes. So let's bring the wine out, let's open it. Let's go get the wine. Excited? Very excited, I'm always up for wine. Wine is the happiness. There, there, here. Stubborn. Okay, there you go. So that you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so what do we have here? Do you know? Come on. This, this is butter chicken? No, chicken tikka masala. Chicken tikka masala, okay. This is the chickpeas, of course. Chana masala. Chana masala. Alugobi. Alugobi. And this is the... Pani Sag paneer? Sag paneer. Not pani puri. <laughs> pani puri is a round little <laughs> oh thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting I, I educated. I got the basics so he can enjoy yeah, it. He listen. loves the basics. I thought he remembered them. And then here we have papadam. Papadam. So papadam is basically like a lentil cracker, right? But you know what, let's cheers, because we have the wine open. Amazing, bright sellers. It's gonna be Thanksgiving, so we yeah. should give thanks. Thanks for everything. Cheers, thanks for everything. Mm. 
Oh, that's good. Mm. More heavy rain. Nice and chilled. Have to be always there in like 70. Full body, full body covering it. And it has to be at what? Like, um, I think 65, if I recall correctly. 65. And by the way, guys, I'm giving you guys 50% off your first box from Bright Sellers. Six bottles, $45. Just go to the link in my description and you can get your discount 50% off. Amazing. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's see. Okay, eat. let's see. Let's see. The chana masala. Chana masala. Here. It's I'll so help. good. I'll make it easy for you. And this is all from my friends at Bombay Dabar. I was just there in the kitchen, one of my favorite places to be. I think uh, Indian food is in your DNA, David. No? Yeah, right? It's ingrained. It's yeah. ingrained. You love it so much, and I can see why. I mean, I love it too. There's nothing better, Doug. Indian food is so um, so full of flavor and so complex, you know? Mm -hmm. You like the alu gobi, right? I love it. Yeah, this is like a dry masala, right? So it's just like potatoes and cauliflower. It's amazing. It's very easy. Mm -hmm. Right? I, I, I'm a big fan of the veg in India. Nothing like it. And a lot of people think that being, you know, eating veg is, is, is like boring. And uh, if you taste Indian food, it's nowhere near boring. I mean, this is complex, full of flavors, mm -hmm. really tasty. I mean, and look at this. you can't have enough of it. I can never have enough of Indian food. Cheers again, Dad. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Full body Cabernet. Full body. And what do we have here? So this is, I think we have garlic naan and we have paneer naan. Paneer naan. I never tasted paneer naan. Yeah, that. Are you sure? Paneer naan. Maybe it's I like, have, it's like a stuff. I don't remember. Oh, it's So this is garlic. One. I mean, I get hungry just by looking at it. I know, Honestly. right? It, it, it makes you hungry. It's just so good. The paneer naan. So this is a stuffed yeah. naan, basically. Oh, okay. Stuff it with what? With paneer, with cottage cheese. Okay, okay. Yeah, see, it's looks almost amazing. like a pizza, right? It looks amazing. Okay. All right, Dad, so I think we should both get a little bit of garlic naan. Give me one. Okay, one for you. One for me, one for you. You ready? If you give me one, I'll give you one. Let's break this fast. Chicken tikka masala. Let's do it. This is the national dish of Great Britain, and I can't wait to go to Great Britain and eat there. Mmm. Mmm. Why so good? Why? This is the most popular dish always. I mean, Great Britain, Dad, is everywhere. It is. I'm going for the sag now. And by the way, sag is different from palak. Palak is spinach, sag is like uh, mustard leaves. Okay. So it's, it's mixed greens, basically. Mustard leaves and mixed greens. What are, you, what are your plans for uh, for Indian food next year? I mean, we're fast approaching Christmas, it's going to be New Year's, some travels. What do you have in mind? Mm-hmm. So, I'm thinking I'm going to Dubai, doing some stuff there. I had plans for Saudi Arabia. I don't know if I do it or not, but there's a huge Indian population there as well. My real big trip would be going to Great Britain and going from like London all the way up to Manchester. I know Leeds, a few towns in there. Uh, I don't know, Leicester, Leicester. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of places there that are literally curry heavens. Like it's all curry. Because so a lot of Indian population in the in Great Britain, right? Oh, that I mean, it's huge because remember British Raj, you know, the English were the Britishers, mm -hmm. the Britishers were in India for hundred and something years. 1947 they left, and that's it. But they, they obviously mm -hmm. brought over, and from my understanding, a lot of the British that were born in India, mm -hmm. they're the ones that came back. Mm -hmm. Like They're like white guys that come back, born India. India. So they have this, this, like they already learned how to cook. <laughs> but I got some curry. <laughs> yeah, are you allowed to lick your fingers on camera? Not really. Mm -hmm. No. Not a good idea. Mm -hmm. You are? Okay. Done. Everything is allowed with Indian food, right? Mm -hmm. Is there a reason for eating with your hands? Is there a particular reason? There's a lot of reasons, Dad. I mean, I think number one is that you're not getting that metallic flavor when you put the So it's the metal. mix of flavors, okay? Yeah, because this, this way you're getting the true essence of the cuisine without mixing it, Got it. with Plastic or metal. Or metal. Mmm. It's amazing. These people at Bombay Darbar are fantastic. Oh, they're the best. But they're gonna have competition soon. <laughs> well. So I'm starting an Indian restaurant. For most of you guys who have been watching me, it's happening. I have my partner coming down soon. We're gonna sign a lease. We're gonna start an Indian restaurant here in Miami. Wow. Any particular food or just all all Indian food? So, 
it's gonna be, I'd say between 25 and 50 plates, just because we have to have a big menu. Usually you have to just because you have like, you know, five biryanis, just the naans, you have like five or 10 different naans, yep. right? There's, that's, that's, they're all different, right? But I wanna do a mix of different street foods from different states. Okay, you want to have something more um, wi wider variety than the normal, basically. Of course. I mean, I really want to have like some Malabar cuisine. I want to have different biryanis. I want to have different naans. I want to have like a, maybe a big tally. Maybe have like the biggest naan in America. I'm thinking of all these different ideas and making a list of all my favorite dishes, and especially now that I just went on this trip. I mean, how would I do? So I've been to New England, Boston, Manchester, also to Phoenix, New York multiple times. You've been Cali. all over the place. California. I just did a bunch of different places where I'm literally just eating Indian food with different people and I'm learning all these different dishes and there's so many franchises now which is crazy like curry up now, Ula Vachuru, Madras Dosa Company, Butter Chicken Company. I mean you have so many that are just popping up but you have to open them in destinations where there's a lot of Indian population. Here in Miami Correct. not that much but because of me I think it'll work. But you know you know what I'm, I'm seeing? I'm, I'm seeing this trend like a few years ago People who didn't really know about Indian food, they didn't. And they knew about pizza and they knew about sushi. And you know, pizza and sushi are the exports, culturally exports of mm -hmm. Italy and Japan, right? And everybody loves them. And years ago, people would say, no, I'm not gonna eat, they're not gonna eat this. You know what? Everybody's eating sushi and pizza and pasta these days. Oh yeah, it's become Guess the norm. What? Now, norm. now it's become the norm. And I can see Indian food becoming the norm. People mm -hmm. are getting exposed to Indian food. And everybody that I know, I mean, I don't know anybody who doesn't like Indian food. I don't know how you could. I, I mean, it's so rich. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the flavors, the complexity, it's just fantastic. Yeah, and obviously today we're doing the standard stuff, you know, chicken tikka masala, which you know what they call it in uh, Great Britain? No. CTM. CTM. You don't call it chicken tikka masala. Just... CTM for short. CTM. CTM. Can I have your CTM? CTM. And right. then obviously, can I have some naan? David, do you think you'll ever learn how to cook some of these dishes? I mean, with your level of experience and knowledge, I can see you actually developing, you know, a little bit of a, mm -hmm. a uh, an idea of where, you know, cooking Indian food with yeah. XYZ person or I mean, XYZ. Um, Dad, you know my time is super limited right now, right? So I, know. My, I have like almost no time at all between my kids and my business. It's like crazy, but what I think I'm gonna do is once I have the kitchen, once I have the restaurant, and I can literally ask the chef like, hey, today, just make a video. Teach me how to make this dish. How to make CTM. Mm -hmm. How to make, you know, starts with the basics. Understand a lot of a lot of these dishes have a high level of complexity as far as the uh, condiments, you know, mm -hmm. the, all the uh, the uh, spices, it's what they call them, it, right? That, that's the, the spices, key. the key. Spices. And it's the like masalas, every, every, dish, every dish has a complexity of of masalas that you need to know how to put together mm -hmm. to achieve a certain flavor and a certain result. I think it's like everything in life, probably. You learn how to do it, you know, the more you do it, right? The more you do but it. But you need training. You need people to basically I mean, teach you. The main thing is to go into a kitchen dive with a chef and every day learn a new dish. But actually learn and do it and try it, you know? Well, you have to have a passion for it and you do. Mm -hmm. No question about it. And we're definitely gonna have some Indian beer, some Indian rum, they other have, other have, Indian things. Other they, have, Indian. they have a lot of Indian stuff. Well, I think Indian culture in general is being just expanded mm -hmm. now worldwide and people are finding out more and more, you know, the, the whole... Well, it's um, the globalization, I think. Too, it's the know? globalization, it's social media, it's YouTube. It just exposes the culture at a higher mm -hmm. uh, complexity and level. I mean, everybody knows about these things now. Everybody. Should we try something else? Like, what yeah, are, you, are you eating I, I everything? I tried everything. I tried yeah, everything. You're terrible. You went ahead of me and tried everything. Sage paneer. Mm, I could eat this all day long, dude. This is food is addictive. It is. Mm. Can't stop, won't stop. Although Indians don't drink, right, David? Pretty taboo. To be honest, this is the first time in a long time that I just have four dishes to eat, and that's it. <laughs> Tell me something, David. How do you do not gain weight? Oh, you're so you're so skinny, you, it, and you eat you eat like ten thousand calories a day, maybe more, when you're filming. How, I, do you, how do you handle that? I mean, that is the fasting. I told you, I intermittent fast. Everybody out there, please understand that that I intermittent fast. That means 
I finished my meal, last meal of the day at 7 p.m. I have zero snacks at night, zero, I mean zero. No and alcohol. I, I limit the alcohol, but to be honest, the big thing I limit the most is bad food, fast food, um, too much sugar. I almost have no sugar now. I am like anti-sugar now, basically. And um, yeah, that, that's basically how I do it. And then so I, I finish at 7 p.m. and then I bring my fast at noon. And today, what is, we broke our fast at one. Yeah. Well, I got off the plane, so I, I've been. Some of this? It's actually wrong time for me. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm mixing with the rice. Okay. I'm gonna do it a little differently. I'm not gonna use my hands. Well, you know what? Maybe I should use my hands. Yeah, use your hands. So we finished all the naan. So I just mixed in some of the rice. I don't have biryani today, so I'm just mixing in basmati rice, bringing up that CTM. Mm-hmm. CTM. CTM. I right know that. the code now. CTM, ready? CTM, ready. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh man, nothing like that cream. Mm hmm. So good. Mm. So, who do you think I should collaborate with? Who should I eat with? Once I have a restaurant, I'm collaborating with everybody. And to be honest, Sky for me is is really high. I mean, I'm, I'm I want to like do David Beckham. How about Robert Downing Jr.? LeBron like James, that. Tom Holland, Robert Downey mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'll eat with you. I eat with you. I eat with them. Doesn't really matter. The main thing is to show people how good delicious, how good and delicious <laughs> Indian, Indian food is. Indian food Mmm. 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 A little bit of panier on top. Oh yes. Those are called good day, huh? It's crazy, right? How much I need to put a meeting. <laughs> Somebody wrote me a DM and they're like, you're gonna get sick, man. I'm like, nah, I don't think so. No, nobody gets sick of Indian food. Mm. You can actually get sick of other foods, but not Indian food. No, you don't get sick of it. You can get sick off it. <laughs> oh well. Mm. Mm hmm This was great. You done? No. I wanna have some rice. Mm-hmm. So I guess the question everybody wants to know is when you go into India. Might surprise you soon. Might surprise me. Let's see, let's see. I might be going back, but this time I feel like I want to do a few different collabs in, in uh, Mumbai and then maybe go to the city of Surat for some eggs, street food, and then go to the city of Indore. Indore. Indore, where is that? In that's in a, that's in like, it's like north, but central. Uh, it's like north of Maharashtra, but more central. Yeah, it's, it's one of the major cities in the, this many states, Dad. With 20, 28, 29 states. It's interesting because the culture in India is so <laughs> wide, you know, that people even say Namaskar and they say Namaste. And it means that's the same the, thing, that, right? Well, that's, that's Mahara. That's, that's very interesting. That's Maha, Mahara. Ah, how do you say the language of Maharashtra? Maharashtra. Maharashtra. No. Incorrect. No. Mm. You know, I never pair wine with Indian food, but today it was good. Especially with the heat outside, mm -hmm. right? Thanksgiving this week. We're starting celebrations early, it's Monday. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm eating Indian food all day tomorrow from Pompano down to Miami. Really? Yeah, crazy. Another one of those days? Another one of those days. I don't think it's too crazy though, like it's actually really enjoyable. Well, if it was the kind of food that you don't enjoy, but you enjoy it, look, you can't stop. I know, did we leave anything from Amaya here? Guys, no. people, Look at this. He keeps eating. Mm -hmm. Never gets tired of it. So. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't get tired of it. Oh, we don't have any desserts. I don't either. Huh? I don't either. <laughs> we don't have dessert. I guess pour me a little bit more wine. So the one thing I love that I'm doing at the end, which I should do in the beginning, is tamarind chutney with papadam. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm. Tamarind chutney is the best. Which one is this one? Tamarind. But I actually tried some mm. ginger chutneys um, the other day. Ulubacha root tiffins. This is a place just went to Santa Clara, California, in New York for Indian food. Next is London. It's a large, large uh, Indian community, no? Mm hmm. I really want to see Dubai's. Anybody from Dubai knows Indian food? Let me know. Mm. There's gotta be a ton of Indian food in Dubai. Oh, crazy. There's so many Indians living there. And there's like 50 restaurants though. Easy. It's like New York. New York, I think it's like, just on the islands, 100. 
what I'm telling you, is becoming more and more mainstream. It's ever so more popular, you know. And people who haven't tried it, if you haven't tried Indian food, you gotta go try it. Yeah, right now. Start with the basics, right? What would you recommend are the basics? Chicken tikka masala, butter chicken, sai paneer. These are the basics. China mas everything right here is the basics. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to go too crazy for my dad. Just a you know simple lunch, me and him. But I can tell you that I love the pani puris. I know exactly what they are. <laughs> now you do, right? I do. Mm. I want to have guys, pani puri. I had no idea what Indian food was all about until David got me into it. I know. Now it's like, look, I can't stop. I gotta keep going. Get a little bit from here. The chana masala is the best. Here. Oh, it's good, it's good. I'm it's good. I'm poor. My friends, thank you to Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. Thank you to all of you for watching. We really appreciate it. There's a lot of sun coming in right now. But dad, thank you, I love you. Love you too. Another Indian food day. Cheers. Oh man, I'm exhausted. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Miami, most likely. Woo! See, so do you think Tom Holland and uh, and David Beckham like chicken tikka masala? I they must, right? I can bet you. They must. You know why I think all my British fam there, like Rita Ora, uh, Dua Lipa, all these people, they must love. Is Dua Lipa your fan? What? Is Dua Lipa your fan? No, I'm her fan, Dad. <laughs> I'm her fan. I'm everybody's fan. Everybody who works hard in life, I'm their fan. Mmm. This wine's amazing. Very good. Mojave. Mm -hmm.